In the pulsating heart of the African savanna, where wildlife reigns supreme, a legend unfolds narrating the rise and fall of an unprecedented coalition, the Moho Coalition, six blood brothers whose story of conquest, power, and tragedy echoed through the vast lands of the Sabi Sand Reserve, a territory that witnessed the brute force and relentless dominance of these jungle kings. Today, we will attempt to decipher the mystery surrounding these feline monarchs. So click a like, subscribe to this channel, and let's dive in. In the untouched Sabi Sand Reserve, six young lions, approximately three years old, came together for a single purpose, to conquer. Baptized as the Moho Coalition, these brothers shared not only a genetic lineage, but also an insatiable appetite for domination. From the outset, their coalition promised to be unlike anything Africa had ever seen. The first of their countless conquests took place in the north, where a pride of lions known for their ferocity reigned. The Moho, aware of the challenges that awaited them, meticulously prepared. Under the cover of night, they advanced like shadows through the undergrowth, their formation of six members intact and ready for battle. It would be the first fight the six lions would undertake together, and the jungle was eager to see how they would fare in combat. The clash was epic. The Moho, using their brute strength and coordinated combat tactics, launched themselves upon the defenders of the Northern Pride, a coalition of three lions of similar age to the Moho. The roars of challenge and the thunder of paws upon the dry earth marked the beginning of a battle that would decide the fate of both prides. After nearly four hours of relentless fighting, as the sun began to reach the orange sky, the Northern Pride retreated, defeated. They succumbed to their wounds on that very day. The Moho were inexperienced, but that battle had already served the purpose of making them realize their true potential. Now, they had conquered their first territory, solidifying their reputation as a force to be reckoned with. From there, they didn't stop, and each new battle they engaged in was even bloodier and more relentless than the last. Their territory expanded southward within the reserve, where they would establish their new domain. There was a pride formed by four experienced lions, and the Moho Coalition had to fight for two consecutive days until they managed to dethrone them. But that wouldn't be the greatest challenge in those lands. The defeated lions possessed a true harem of lionesses who had just witnessed their kings being taken down and their cubs meeting the same fate. The lionesses numbered 12 and joined forces to resist their new kings. They were robust and equally experienced in hunting and fighting. The brothers, Realizing that they couldn't waste such incredible genetics for their descendants, acted with patience and chose not to shed more blood, at least not there. They adopted a more diplomatic approach. For days, they roam at the lioness's territory, demonstrating their strength, showing off to them, and even hunting to present them with fresh meat. Gradually, the barriers of trust dissolved and an alliance was forked. The lionesses bowed and revered their new kings. This moment not only increased the territory under the Moho's control, but also reinforced the intelligence of those lions, ensuring the continuity of their legacy with genetics never before seen. The Moho coalition was fierce, but also fearless. They scripted an unprecedented journey of conquest, felling over a hundred adversaries, claiming a territory of about 670 kilometers quarters, and ensuring the survival of approximately 30 cubs to adulthood. To manage such vast lands and lionesses, they divided themselves into pairs to patrol the conquered prides, reserving their original formation of six to overthrow new realms and challenge fate. These magnificent hunters were not just warriors, they were strategists, sharing hunting and power with their mates, thus ensuring the prosperity and continuity of their lineage. However, fate, always complex, held a series of trials for the Moho. The first blow came with the unexpected death of the youngest, a victim of an infection after a hunt. Lions enjoyed hunting. For them, it wasn't solely the task of their queens but also a way to exercise their muscles and skills. During an unsuccessful hunt amidst a powerful herd of buffalo, the youngest of the Moho was suddenly attacked. The lion was focused on his target when another buffalo came from the side, striking him with its horn in the abdomen. He was severely injured and withdrew but he was taken by a lethal infection that claimed his life in less than a week. The shaken coalition faced the loss, but had no idea that this would be just the first of many adversities. Over time, the weight of age began to take its toll. One by one, the Moho succumbed. Some fell in the claws of younger adversaries, 
others simply succumbed to the exhaustion that old age imposed. During a patrol, one of the Moho was alone near the river and was surprised by another younger nomadic lion who was at the peak of his physical form and had been stalking him for some time. The fight was quick and decisive, and on the banks of that river, another of the Moho closed his eyes forever. The four survivors united because they knew they needed to stay together if they wanted to survive a little longer. However, old age is cruel to lions, and a coalition of three lions invaded the territory of the four elder Moho, signaling the start of the coalition's final battle. They killed one of their opponents, while the other two fled, but one of the Moho was also on the ground. The other three were severely injured, and two of them did not survive their wounds. Alone, elderly, and wounded, the last of the Moho knew he couldn't patrol so many lands or care for so many lionesses. Therefore, he isolated himself, abstaining from any food and allowing his body to gradually shut down until he closed his eyes to open them elsewhere, far from the physical plane. But what remains of the Moho? What evidence is there that these lions truly established such an incredible story? In the pages of American and South African forums, the veracity of their existence is debated. Some claim that the Moho were nothing more than a legend inspired by the legendary Mapogos, while others argue that the coalition was real, as tangible as the footprints left on the lands they once dominated. The lack of dating of events along with controversy over the narrative reinforces the true mystery of the Moho coalition. Did it really exist or not? Regardless of reality, the story of the Moho reminds us of countless others recorded and documented, immortalized like an untamed wave of brute force and tangible wilderness. It reminds us that in the unpredictable dance of the cycle of life in the African savanna, the true kings are never forgotten. And so, while life on the savanna continues with its intense flow, the legend of the Moho remains whispered in the winds, a tale of power, loss, and the eternal struggle for survival. If you have any information about the Moho, please comment here to register so that together we can expand our knowledge. Leave your like, subscribe to this channel, and enjoy binge-watching all our content. Thank you for watching.